Hey guys, this is Latified again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your pictures to make them look a bit nicer. So here I just have a picture of the fall. Yeah, I know, winter, winter, winter. So let's get a little fall in here. Alright, so just open that up. And the way we're going to start is we're going to press Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we're going to go to Curves. And then you're going to press OK. Now what you want to do is you want to press auto on the right side and what that's going to do is just going to start fixing it up for you then you can mess around with the curves a little bit as you go up obviously it's going to be brighter and as you go down it's going to be a little bit darker so you want to work around what they give you you don't want to make it too bright or too dark obviously it's just going to change it alright and then when you're happy with what you got just leave it now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer and we're gonna go to image apply image and press OK what this is gonna do is it's gonna give me the brand new image with the curves so now what I wanna do is I wanna make these trees that we have here in the foreground stick out a little bit more and the background stick out less so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this new newly applied image we're gonna go to filter blur and we're gonna give it a blur and we're gonna go to filter and blur again or just control F now what you wanna do is you wanna take your eraser tool you wanna go to basic brushes and go to around 65 you wanna make sure you're going with the blurry brush it's gonna give you a more realistic feel I guess we're gonna go to opacity and we're gonna bring it down to around 35 percent now what you wanna start doing is you're going to start erasing your foreground and allowing your background to stay blurred. So this kind of backwards. You're going to erase what you want to pop out a little bit more. And you're going to keep the others blurred. So we're just going to go in and erase. You need to keep pressing your mouse. Or else it's just going to give it that 35% opacity which you don't want. But what this is going to do for having such a low opacity is it's not going to let anything slip up from the background. Alright, so just keep erasing it. And it looks like we're getting pretty good. You can already tell it's pop the foreground's popping out a little bit more. Alright, and now you want to take that image and you want to lower it a little bit so it's not like a huge difference but you will still want to put it around 72 percent depending on your picture so we're gonna do something again we're gonna make a new layer control shift n or select or sorry layer new layer we're gonna press ok we're gonna again go to image apply image and press ok now we're gonna go to filter sharpen sharpen now as you can tell this is gonna sharpen the image a lot so now what we're going to do is we're going to start erasing the background what you don't want to pop out so again we're doing the opposite of what we were doing earlier so just erase the background keep pressing make sure you're using the same exact eraser alright and now obviously it's popped out a lot so what we're going to do is we're going to lower our opacity again and depending on your picture, like I said earlier, is going to depend on what you want your opacity to be. I'm just going to put mine around 50%. Now as you can tell, the foreground has really popped out and the background is a little bit duller if we go back to what we were, where we were at before. So now we have a little bit better color and it's popped out more. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and you want to go to Gradient Map press OK. Now what we want to do is you want to press your gradient over here and we're just going to do a black and white gradient. So if you don't have it, what you're going to do on the left side is you're going to double click it and go all the way to black. Now on the right what you want to do is again double click the color and go up to white. Now you want to press OK. We're going to change the layer properties. So from normal we're going to go, we're going to press color. Now you're going to lower the opacity. It's just going to make it a little bit we're just going to give it a little bit black and white, but not too much. 
just make it look a little bit nicer alright now what we're going to do is we're going to go to layer new adjustment layer levels press ok and then we're going to go to auto again and it's just going to fix up the color a little bit so guys as you can tell our picture has definitely sharpened up and the colors are a little bit different if we go from what we had before to what we have now you'll tell that it's more sharp and the colors are a little more realistic alright guys so thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more